This is your tap tap, and welcome to Bubble Tanks Tower Defense 2. I did not actually know there was a Bubble Tanks Tower Defense 1, but uh, if you play Flash games online, you're probably familiar with Bubble Tanks. It's a very good little game. Um, got some good close path. I'm not going to play too much of this since it's a tower defense game, and you know. You guys probably know the drill. Um, whatever, I'm just gonna play normal. I accidentally skipped the tutorial. I meant to show it on camera, but I started it early, and then I canceled it just so, so I could show it on the camera, and then it just kind of never came back. So we're doomed. Oops. Um, how do I change tower? That is not how I changed the tower. Maybe evolve towers. I have no idea. Oh, yeah, it's an evolvey thingy. How much money do I have? Okay. You get to suffer through me learning how to play the game. So lucky you guys. Anti ghost. I want an area burst here. Slow burst, in fact. And you. You will be my damage boost. Oh, crap. Damage boost doesn't attack. That's not exactly what I wanted. Let's have an area there too. Ah, oh, never mind. Okay, let's actually start the game. Send wave! Okie dokie. I really like the original... I probably need more. Oh wait, no. I'm, I'm, I'm up there. Um, I really like the original Bubble Tanks and Bubble Tanks 2 and... Is there a third one? But they're pretty fun little games. If you've never played them, um, you are a bubble tank, and you um, not that funny. Um, you buy upgrades with bubbles, and you get bubbles by shooting other little tanks. And oh crap! You um, don't scroll. Um, But yeah, you upgrade your weapons, and then you pick what kind of upgrade you want. What's the plus? Oh, neat. Hmm, I don't want to mess with that now. Splitter. But yeah, it's a pretty cool game, and you can choose the way your ship upgrades, and there's branching paths, and you know. There's a lot to do in the game, so it's pretty fun. I need better towers. Lots of better towers. Well! That was embarrassing. Let's try focusing on one really good tower, maybe. I have no idea what I'm doing. Just put all our money in that one. It'll just be our one awesome tower, and there'll be it second tower over here. And he will be an area burst tower. See, this isn't too bad. I think we can make this work. Yeah, this is definitely going better. Alright. The thing about tower defense games is that you always need to learn which towers are good for which, and showing that on camera is kind of dumb, but it's the it's the real experience of playing the game, so that's what I'm showing you. The I have no idea what the hell I'm doing parts. Those are the funnest of all. Right, kids? Right. Beef this guy up. Oh crap, ghosts. Um, um, ghost, ghost tower, go. Oh, okay. Everything was okay after, freaking, okay. Now I, I am going to make a ghost tower. That was 
was much easier than expected. Well then. Yeah, I'll probably just do a map or two. This game looks alright, but tower defense games is not too much to show off aside from different tower types and stuff. Regenerative. The second tower around here, like, what, what kind would I want? Just calm down, let me try to play the game here, game. Stun charge. the sound of this guy. Um. Wait, I have an idea. Let's make you a damage boost. Oops. Whatevs. Boost my damage boost. Range boost. Fire rate boost. I want fire rate boost. Sounds much better. These guys sound annoying. These guys are annoying. Ooh, I like that tower. Stun boost thingy. Or stun charge. Friggin' ninjas. Ninja. Whatever you call tower defense enemies. Is there like a standard term for that? I was trying to think of one. Like, would you just call them mobs? Or I don't know. I'm not hip with the lingo, guys. I'm sorry. Also, if the audio sound on this sounds weird, it's because I'm freaking out over white noise on my mic, and I will probably be abusing the audio a bit to try and do something about that, and I might be buying a new microphone. Because, I don't know, there was one that looked absolutely perfect for good price. Um, all the reviews are pretty much awesome. It looks kind of weird, but I don't see it when it's on my head, so I don't really care. Um, uh-oh. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm good. We're good. Um, yeah, the one bad thing I had heard about it was that the noise canceling wasn't actually that amazing. Uh-oh. Now I'm... Yeah, I'll boost you up. Wait, splash. This one sounds fun. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, like that stun charge tower. Um, I want to range boost these two. Freaking every time I try to place a tower. Every time. It's damage boost, then range boost. Give me money! I want money, guys. There you go. Um, yeah, the one bad thing I'd heard about the set I had heard I had wanted was that the microphone wasn't quite up to par, but it was a noise canceling thing and everything, but it sounds like it still has white noise on it, but I was testing earlier and I just realized how much white noise this microphone has on it. So... I guess it's not a compelling reason not to upgrade. Um, it's also 7.1 virtual surround. Which I've heard very mixed things about. But... I don't know, I've never tried it myself and it's one of those things where you can't really know how good it is until you try it yourself. Oh, speaking of, I got a clacky DOS keyboard, so... That's nice. Um, I went with the Cherry MX Brown switches because I heard the the um, the blues that clicky. It's not so much the loudness; it's the high pitched clicky click click that seemed like it would just grate my friggin' ears. And while I really like the new the brown, um, it is pretty loud. So like it's okay. I'm fine with what it is now. But if it were any louder, it would be pretty annoying. I like the sound of that. Um, yeah, so I'm glad I didn't get the heart, the 
louder switches. And these are, I heard these are the ones that are sort of a balance between typing and gaming, and I do both on this PC, so... The MX Brown were supposed to be great for gaming, but it sounds like they're not so good for typing. Like, they're more for, they, it sounds like they feel more like rubber dome, um, keys, really, because there's no tactile response to it. So, I'm pretty happy with the browns, um, I don't know, the blues seem like overkill on the noise and etc. You butt face. Need better ghostness. Oh hey, 100 damage, yay. Um, hey, what are you? Like gray ghosts? Oh, well, that was incredibly easy actually. These levels are long. Either that or it's infinite. I I don't know. I was expecting like multiple short levels. I, don't know. I guess there's lots of different ways to do tower defense stuff for that stuff though. This lightning tower doesn't seem to do very crazy much damage, but I want to upgrade it to see if maybe it you know, it's one of those things where it's not very good until you max it out. But I also don't want to waste all my friggin' money. And that ghost tower is probably all I need for the ghostiness. Let's look at that. Um, so I'll probably just be playing until I die, I guess, because I'm not doing very good. Very well, rather. Do those guys just, like, slide along the ground and then take off? Wow, this thing rocks normal ground enemies. Look at that. Yeah, I do not like the lightning tower. I want to like the lightning tower more than I like the lightning tower. Let's see what the boost is. Wait, what? That boost is pretty crazy. Um, hey, we're going in whole hog. Let's see how this thing goes. Oh, there's only 40 levels. Okay. Definitely does more damage. Okay, so it is one of those things where you have to just max it out. That's good to know. Well, that was far easier than I expected. Normal mode beaten, yay! Bubble spent, yay! Plus one experience. Either we require extremely low amounts of what? Oh, I get it. Okay. Go to the upgrade screen. No. No, thank you. Um. Oh, yeah, it is a fairly small amount. Of... Oh, it's one of those premium beelies, I assume. Yeah, no thanks. Anyway, this looks like a fun little game. Let's start a second one. Um, two. Wait, what? One of eleven. Oh, different difficulty modes. Oh, that's neat. So you can play all these different difficulty modes. And... Yeah, I didn't notice that. I just noticed the hard, normal, insane. There's stuff like all splitters. That looks pretty cool. I'll play this game for a bit longer, but I'm not going to make you guys watch it. Because it's more towers, and more defense, and more killing things. But I suggest you go give it a try. It's over on Congregate. Link is in the about section, as always.